Hello everyone, this is Sage. I wanted to make this video because I feel like there's not many tutorials on the internet for inward players looking to get started with either online or TT lines. I am 0.1 off of tops on this track. This run you're looking at right now would have been tops if it weren't for my lap 3. So I figured I could whip together a tutorial for the time trial lines, which you can also apply to online. You can apply it to any character. It doesn't have to be Wario. It can be Donkey Kong, Roy, Waluigi, Rosalina, whoever you want. These strats are obviously not limited to just one character. Now, right off the bat, on this first turn here, you want to hop at the very start of this second burning DK sign. So hop right where this uh, the D is on the left here. If you hop too early, you will not get a drift, and you will just hop and land without drifting. So make sure you're hopping early, but not too early. So hop right where that sign is. You want your second drift to start somewhere within these uh, this fence on the left here. Immediately hold to the outside of the turn, and you're going to see these two Lemmy Tire Services signs. You want to cut in right at the tire on the second one. You can see that's where I start holding inside, and that allows you to take this turn super tight. And then you can either soft drift or hard drift that. That is entirely up to you. I personally soft drift it. Make sure you release your mini turbo. Align slightly to the right. And you're going to want to start your drift on this last uh, straight fence post before it curves to the right. So that's where you want to start your second drift. Land in a drift and immediately hold away from the turn. Get this first coin and then immediately cut inwards. Um, it's much better to soft drift here. Soft drifting here will give you a much better alignment for the ramp up here. So make sure you're not hard drifting this. Make sure you're soft drifting this. Release your uh, SMT as soon as you can. And then on this ramp right here, you want to trick as early as possible and make sure you trick to the left. Outside of gliders, airtime in this game is very slow. So the earlier you trick on this ramp, the lower your trick will be. So make sure you're tricking as early as you can. And that will give you less air. Also, make sure you're tricking to the left as that'll catapult you to the left and give you a much better alignment for the upcoming turn. Land into a slip drift to the left, immediately hold away from the turn, and you want to cut, a, cut in on this last straight fence post right here that you can see when you land. The one at the end down here. That's where you want to cut in. And then you want to hold away right where these straighten out. That's where you want to hold away from the turn and then release. Align with the right arrow here and then align with the three left arrows here. And that'll give you very nice alignment for the coins and then for the ramp strat. So after you grab the coins, you trick here. You can either do a neutral trick or you can trick to the left. Just make sure you're not tricking to the right as tricking to the right will throw off your alignment and make it very hard to get a tight line on the next turn up here. Land into a slip, slip drift. Hold away from the turn. You want to start cutting in right on this last straight fence post right here. That's where you want to cut in. And then you want to hold away right where it starts straightening out on the edge right here. So this is where I start holding away. This is where I start cutting in. That'll let you take this turn super tight while still giving you alignment for the ramp strat. Now for the ramp strat, you're going to want to hop right about here. Make sure you're hopping before it starts to slope upwards. And very important, make sure you're hopping to the left. If you neutral hop or you hop to the right, you won't consistently get this uh, fast ramp is what it's called. So make sure you're hopping to the left. And uh, then your second hop can be to the right. So left, right, drift. And you'll know you did it right if you start your drift on roughly the middle of the boost panel here. Hold left as you go airborne, then soft drift in the air, and make sure you start holding left again before you land. So I hold left right about here, start holding left again, then you can start soft drifting in the air again. Release your SMT as late as possible as it will not speed you up in the air. So uh, release it as soon as, or as late as you can before you hit the ground. Then you want to land into the slip drift to the left, soft drift, cut inside, and then start holding away right about here. This will align you very nicely for the coins. As soon as you grab the second coin, you're going to want to drift right. And you can do a little corner skip right here. And just in general, make sure you're aligning for one of these uh, little strips here. You can align off of any of the uh, blues or the yellows here. Any of these will work. Just don't go further to the right than I am right now. And just hop over this gap. And you can land in a slip drift to the left. Make sure you immediately start soft drifting. And then you can also cut this corner right here by just drifting over it. If you're having trouble with this one, make sure you're aligning with this blue strip right here. And you can uh, hold your soft drift and it'll align you very nicely for up here. Very important here. Make sure you hold your drift after you do this. Tricking will lock your momentum in this game. So if you hold this mini turbo to the ramp, 
you will hold that mini turbo velocity for much longer than you would if you released your mini turbo before you tricked. So make sure you go over this hold trick. Now, take this really inside. You, you want to start cutting in right about here. Cut in and then hit the corner of this boost panel. Release your mini turbo right here. Press R again. This will allow you to realign. So press R and hold your stick to the right. This will boost you downward while also causing you to realign to the right. Then go neutral off this and slip drift to the left off this. Hold up in the water as if you, or uh, down on the joystick, but, but tilt back in the water and make sure you're aligning for this uh, left arrow here. Then you wanna cut in as soon as you hit the ramp and make sure you hold this drift until you hit the ground. As soon as you hit the ground, hold away from the turn and this will allow you to take it extremely tight as you can see here. Um, as for glider, we do something called low glider. You release R and then you press it again once you're airborne. This will give you lower air on the glider. And then you wanna do a trick known as vertexing. So you're gonna, um, you're gonna dive down pull back and then dive down again and this will give you a speed boost due to um, how the game treats momentum in gliders it's not important to know the mechanics of it just know this saves quite a bit so down up down slip drift now from here you want to land roughly on the middle of the finish line land into a slip drift hold away from the turn and cut in at that same lemmy tire spot right here and that'll allow you to take the turn super inside again and from there you can just pretty much rinse and repeat only thing I'm going to keep in mind here is I did an alternate method of the ramp strat on this lap. It's not any slower. It's um, it's entirely up to you what you do. But you can see, instead of doing a hop, I do a quick, a very brief counter slide. So you'll notice the, um, the smoke comes out of my tires when I land. That's because I start a drift very momentarily. It does. This is not any slower. It's the exact same speed as the other method. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. Um, I just thought I'd mention that since it is an option for uh, ramp strat, it's entirely up to you whether you want to hop or counter slide. Um, and the counter slide method can also be used to bail you out if you have really bad alignment here, which will be slower, but it's better than missing the ramp strat entirely. So say I was too far to the left on here, I could quickly counter slide and then start my second drift early and I'd hit the nick, uh, the edge of the, I'd nick the edge of the boost panel here. And that's a nice uh, emergency strat. Other than that, everything is the exact same thing every lap. I'll just uh, get this to the end here to, sh to show you that everything else is the same. And uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to answer any questions you might have. Um, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.